सुना है यू आर सेलिंग योर स्कूटर या गोर न्यू कार सही है बिग बोनस तो सेविंग्स सेविंग तो मैं भी करती हूँ उसे कार नहीं आती मैं काफी सालों से हर महीने म्यूचुअल फंड्स में थोड़ा थोड़ा सेव कर रही हूँ कुछ फंड्स बेच दिए वॉट न्यू का सही है म्यूचुअल फंड निवेश बाजार जोखिमों के अधीन है योजना से जुड़े सभी दस्तावेजों को ध्यान से पढ़ें। फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल माई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज नॉट अबाउट डब्ल्यू पी एल इज अबाउट वन फेंटास्टिक टेन ईयर चैलेंज फॉर यू टेन ईयर्स अगो ट्वेंटी थर्टीन यू लिफ्टेड यू प्लेड यूर लास्ट मैच मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली यू लिफ्टेड द वर्ल्ड कप ट्रॉफी जस्ट हियर एट ब्रेबॉन यूर बैक यूर बैक इन इंडिया विद द डब्ल्यू पी एल हाउ इज दैट टेन ईयर चैलेंज लाइक ये अमेजिंग यू नो टेन ईयर्स फ्लाइज अराउंड प्रिटी क्विकली एंड एंड वेन यू थिंक अबाउट वे द गेम was back in 2013 uh Brabham Stadium and we only just you know had a small crowd there to what we're seeing in WPL um it's amazing and you know a, a part of me is really happy that WPL is being kicked off here in Mumbai that we are playing at Brabham Stadium the final will be there um so yeah very happy memories for me being in Mumbai especially because I used to come here as a child and when i finished my career here it was almost like a perfect ending and this might be another perfect start to a wonderful journey fantastic also uh, you've seen the franchise cricket grow up mm. all over the world it started with wp uh, wbbl you came back played the first season we still have that iconic uh, appeal image of yours uh, running all around the social media you've seen the 100 grow you've seen the little another leagues coming up mm. how important was it for india to get involved uh, on that this bandwagon uh, from the women's cricket point of view hugely when you when you look at the indian side and you know i've been watching them for a long time as a player and now as a commentator um there are moments in matches where you go if only they had regular opportunities to be in similar situations players may choose better options um be able to cope with the extra pressure that comes with semi-finals finals um so this has been the missing piece and i've said this a number of times in a lot of a lot of the interviews that i've done about WPL is that this this will hopefully expose not only the current indian players but more importantly the next generation um you know and fortunate enough here with UP Warriors to get a chance to interact with the under 19 players and yeah. you know coming off an absolute high of that ICC um tournament and lifting the trophy to the, now come and mix it with some of the best they're pinching themselves at training um you know they're watching they're watching what the other girls do they're asking plenty of questions they're not shy in that respect um and i can't wait to see their develop development not only uh, i think in years to come but i think they will be sponges and they will pick up things from game to game um and you know john's been creating a wonderful environment where it, it's very open and honest discussions and come and grab us whenever you want and and they they're definitely doing that yes um speaking about that um alisa heli <laughs> you've seen her from as you've mentioned there's a video i remember of wbbl with you sara eli eli speri and elisa heli talking about how you were their coach yeah. so one of the funniest videos i've seen <laughs> on internet and to see her come back here yeah. is one of multiple world cups one a yeah, lot yeah. actually there's nothing that she hasn't won for now to have her as a captain yeah. to have her lead this team and to have you as a mentor how do you think that is uh, how good she has been yeah it was funny actually because we had the team meeting before we got on the bus just um in the other room and she spoke and i kind of sat back going this was a 10 year old girl that was a pain in the neck and i mean she's still a pain in the neck she's a little bit bigger but to see her growth as a player um you know she came into the new south wales side as a, i think a 16 17 year old we put her at number 3 she failed a lot early on and but we certainly believed in her skill and to to kind of get her then to fire at that level so you know I've known her on and off the field for such a long time so it was a real proud moment um to see her 
lead the side out there and, and, and she's one player that I certainly believe understands the bigger picture. Um, you, know, you look at footage of the T20 World Cup back in 2020 and just how she took everything in and she was like I'm playing for all of the past players that have come before me they've created this and now I'm fortunate enough to, to stand here and and wield the willow um, and she did it so so well as well in that match so yeah a proud moment and uh, excited to kind of be back working with her like this I mean we we off, often talk when I'm at commentating and go down and catch up on what I've seen and yeah you know, just general chit chat but yeah, it's nice to be more involved now. Also, um, again, just a little bit about Alisa Healy is that the aura that she has mm -hmm. on and off the field. Um, I have I've read it somewhere, I think it was you only who spoke to that um, Elise Perry is someone you want to be friends with and Alisa is, Healy is someone you can go and uh, grab a beer with. So, yeah. uh, looking at her right now with the up and coming players, mm -hmm. knowing that that is because I, I spoke with Shweta, Shweta Sahirawat and her reaction was I always wanted to open the batting mm -hmm. with her. How has she been with the under, especially the domestic and uh, all the kids yeah. here? I mean, she hasn't had a lot of time, yeah. but she has certainly made sure that she's turned up to training. I think the last training session that we had, it was her and the, some of the Indian, young Indian players. So came out, was talking to them, chatting to them. Um, you know, she has quite openly said, you know, you've seen me on TV or you've played against me and there's a certain persona that I give because I'm there to win games of cricket, but you're now on my team, so you'll see a different side of me. Um, and she's one that's very inclusive, um, very open and honest, um, willing to share her knowledge, willing to learn as well. Um, she's spoken to me about wanting to understand India a little bit more um, because when she's come here, they literally, you know, hotel, ground, hotel, yeah. sleep, train, that's it. Um, and, you know, I, I, took, I actually brought, brought her for the first time to India. We brought an under-19 side um, and it was 2008 and we were staying in Chinnaswamy Stadium. So we went to the first IPL game together, all of us. So that kind of we exposed her through Cricket New South Wales to India. And I think that there's a real appetite for her that she wants to understand this country and this culture a little bit more. So a lot of head rubs are going to go around. <laughs> I don't know if she'll <laughs> like that. I mean, I'm in for it. The good old oil massage. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, those uh, legendary Alisa Healy head drops after the first Oh, weekend. yeah, for the yeah. wicket. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I thought you were talking about oil massage. I was thinking about what <laughs> no, I need to no, do. No, no. Um, yeah, I don't think she, she. I don't think she did any of that. Did she no, in the game? No, no. Yeah, not yesterday. She I was kind of worried. What? Like, what is happening? She's not doing that. No, but. a skipper and really focused on you know. And I think I think everyone knows in this competition based on the grounds we're playing and the depth in the competition of five teams that there's going to be no easy game. So yeah, um, you've got to be switched on all the time. Yes. Uh, also, you were there, you witnessed the one of the highest of highs of the women's cricket at the MCG in 2020 final. The crowds, the result, everything that was attached to it. The time given how close we were to the pandemic, we were in pandemic at that time. Mm. To know that the it has reflected even in the India-Australia series that happened. The crowds here, yeah. in, especially in Mumbai, it has been fantastic. This is what India is about when it comes to cricket. How do you think the uh, the domestic players who have not played in front of that much crowd are going to learn how to absorb that pressure. Yeah, um, they're not going to get it right every day. Um, um, we saw nervous players um, and you'd expect that yeah. you know, and you want them to be nervous. I mean I was the type of player if I had butterflies in my belly it, it meant that I actually cared about it but it's how you harness that so it doesn't detract what you're trying to do and overpower you, but how can you utilize that nervous energy to make it into a positive impact in the game? Um, and that's up to us as, as support staff to be able to, to assist the players when and where as possible. Um, the girls will get used to it. Um, at the end of the day, and I was speaking to Anjali, she was saying, you know, she, she was a little bit overawed, but then she was literally running from like mid on to mid off and running around and she just kept going and realised, hey, it's just another game of cricket and I've played plenty of games of cricket. So it will take some time to adjust, but you've got to start somewhere, don't you?